So we move back on to Premier League action now and fresh off of the back of our 5-2 victory up at Goodison Park we have Swansea City at the Emirates Stadium. Now I'm looking forward to this game and I'm also looking forward to seeing Alexis Sanchez and Lacazette, even Mesut Ozil for a change because all three of them played absolutely brilliantly up against Everton last Sunday. Albeit Everton are poor this season, they didn't offer much threat, although they did go 1-0 up in that game. But for the majority of that game, we absolutely bossed it. Now, we have Swansea City. Swansea City sold their best player in the summer in Gilfie Sigurdsson, and they've never really replaced him. Yes, they've got Wilfred Boney back there, but there's nobody really in that team that worries me. Maybe that sounds a bit big-headed, but I feel, fully feel we should walk this game. Now, with that being said, I'm going to get into my 1-11 to for the game. Um, before I do that, go and check out my previous video, which was a Premier League predictor, um, where I predicted, obviously, all the results for this weekend. Let's see if I do better than the last two weeks that I've tried that, because I don't think I've called a single scoreline right. But... There you go. That's the Premier League for you. It's the most competitive league in world football. Anyway, my 1-11 to for this game is Peter Cech in goal. Matt Macy done really well in midweek. I thought he was really impressive, but too big a step, I'm afraid. And David Ospina is still apparently injured. So, Peter Cech in goal. We don't even need to go down the route of left back and right back because them two, Kalasinak and Bellerin, they're no-brainers. They're straight in the team. Um, Bellerin, by the little penalty blip he gave away at Watford, has genuinely done all right in the last five, six weeks, really. So I'm impressed with him because he had a real bad spell at the back end of last season. He's come through that and it looks like he's getting back to where he was at the beginning of last season. Uh, Kolasinac, like I said, we don't need to say anything on that. The guy is an absolute animal. Now, the back three, I am going with Lauren Koscielny, Nacho Monreal, and I am also going with Per Mertesacker. Now, Per Mertesacker didn't play in midweek against Norwich, and I thought that was quite telling. I thought, that, yes, I know he played last Sunday, so maybe two games in a week was a bit too much, and it definitely would have been if he's playing this one as well. So I feel that's why we rested him in midweek, so he will be ready for this game, what with the absentees in Mustafi and Callum Chambers. So, yep, yeah, that's my back five. I'm also going with Aaron Ramsey in midfield. Aaron Ramsey's started to get a bit better this season. A lot of people have been on his case recently at the back end of last season and even seasons before that. But this season, there's something slightly different with him. Um, he seems to be doing the defensive side of the job a little bit better than he has done in previous years. And long may it continue, because when he does play well, he is a half-decent footballer. Now, alongside him... I am going to get Granite Xhaka in there again. Now, in my last preview for the Everton game, funny enough, I dropped Granite Xhaka and I said I'd add it up to here with him. Yes, he gave away another ball which ended up resulting in a Wayne Rooney goal. But personally, I don't see that as his fault. It was a stupid pass into him. He dallied on the ball and the rest is history. I'm not going to pin that on him, so I'm going to pick him again for this week. Now, the three in front of him, no-brainers. Mesut Ozil, best performance he's had since probably Chelsea last season where we beat him at the Emirates. Although he did play well in the cup final, let's not forget that. But I want to see that kind of level of performance week in, week out. Not just once, not just twice, not just three times a season. I want to see that. 40, 50 times a season out of all competitions he's going to play in. If he does that for the whole season, fair play to him. I will eat my words. Until then, nah. But, like I said, he was man of the match at the weekend. He was an absolute joy to watch at the weekend. Which is why I get so fucking pissed off with a geezer. Because I know he's got it in him. But anyway, let's not be negative in this video. And let's move on to Alexi Sanchez. 
his goal at the weekend was an absolute liberty. It was just like he was toying with them. They were piss poor, let's have it right. And I apologise to any Everton fans watching this. I know there's a few subscribed to me, but you probably agree you were piss poor at the weekend. And Alexis Sanchez took full advantage of that. Um, Lacazette also partners them to um, them two as well. He scored his first away goal last weekend. And yeah, as soon as he scored, he got subbed. Can we see him play 90 minutes, please? Just once. That's all we ask for. Play him for 90 minutes. I've said this in previous videos as well. A hell of a lot of goals get conceded in the last 15 minutes of games. So why not keep him on? Get his confidence up. Hopefully them three are buzzing. That's my 1-11. to My score prediction for the game is Arsenal 3, Swansea City 0. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Smash a thumbs up on that, a massive like. Leave your comments down below. And if you're new, where the fuck have you been? Subscribe to my channel, man. Anyway, I'm out of here. Layers, peeps.